Number 10. Guldani Prison, Georgia. While they claim that things have improved and that the violence has ceased, Guldani Prison's horrifying past still casts a long, dark shadow. In 2012, the world got a chilling glimpse inside this place when a 35-year-old former guard couldn't keep silent anymore and leaked a video. While the footage is way too disturbing to share, let me give you an idea of what went on inside those walls for years. Imagine this. Every night, guards would randomly pick inmates and subject them to nightmarish abuse. We're talking about being sexually assaulted with broom handles, being beaten within an inch of their lives, getting drowned, having bones deliberately broken, and even being set on fire. Yes, this was happening in our lifetime. A horrifying example of institutionalized torture in the modern world. A former prisoner, who is now 43 years old, talked about what happened it and said that they cut off his fingernails, broke his leg, ribs, nose, and teeth. These days, he says he feels old and often trips while walking. What do you think? Would you really want to see for yourself that the jail has cleaned up? I'm not going to bet on it. Number 9. Gitarama Central Prison, Rwanda. When it comes to overcrowding, this place is in a league of its own. Imagine cramming 8,000 people into a space meant for a little over 1,300. You heard that right, 8,000 souls stuck in what amounts to a human sardine can. Finding a spot to lie down is like striking gold. Most inmates are either standing all day or, best case, haggling over some precious square footage of ground. Oh, and this isn't prime real estate we're talking about. The ground is often damp and littered with human waste. With conditions this inhumane, it's not just fights you have to worry about. Disease is rampant and suffocation is a real risk. Even a simple foot injury can escalate into life-threatening gangrene. What do you do then? Cut it off yourself or wait for it to fall off. Grim choices all around. Wait, there's more to this hellhole than meets the eye. Eating other people. People in prison have been so desperate that they have eaten each other in some cases. The worst part? We don't even know what it's all about. There isn't much proof, and the gods? They've been taught to think of the prisoners as less than human. Last year alone, 2,000 people died in Rwandan prisons, and the majority of those deaths occurred within Gitarama's walls. Number 8. The Black Dolphin Prison. The Black Dolphin Prison in Russia sounds like an incredibly harsh place, even by the standards of Russian penitentiaries. Situated near the Kazakhstan border, it's one of the oldest prisons in the country. Interestingly, the name Black Dolphin actually comes from a statue in front of the facility, built by the inmates themselves. Kind of ironic, given that this place is the polar opposite of freedom. This place is home to about 700 inmates with life sentences, and collectively, they're responsible for around 3,500 murders. That's an average of five victims per inmate. And let's just say murder is the tip of the iceberg when it comes to their criminal resumes. This place also holds cannibals, terrorists, and all sorts of other dangerous offenders. The living conditions? Brutal is an understatement. Each cell is about 50 square feet and is shared by two inmates. They're locked behind not one, but three sets of steel doors. Oh, and the cells are under constant surveillance with guards making rounds every 15 minutes. Inmates rarely get to leave their cells, but when they do, they're blindfolded and made to walk hunched over. This ensures they have zero awareness of their surroundings. Forget about prison yards or cafeterias. These guys get only soup and bread and they eat it right in their cells. Number seven. Bangkwang Prison, Bangkok, Thailand. The next stop is Bangkwang Prison. Now, this place is an exceptional horror show, especially because a good chunk of its population were once just tourists. Imagine going for a vacation and ending up in one of the harshest prisons on the planet. Talk about overcrowding. The place is so packed that inmates can hardly move. We're talking 24 people in a room practically falling over each other just to reach the toilet. And here's the thing, it's not just hardcore criminals they're rubbing shoulders with. Thanks to a government crackdown on drug trafficking, 
these unlucky tourists often find themselves sharing space with death row inmates. Now, you might think, well, I just won't break any laws. But the things that can land you in Bangkwang are absurdly trivial. Reading the wrong book, hanging out in groups of more than five, or even eating a sandwich in public could earn you a one-way ticket. If you think that sounds bad, wait until you hear this. New inmates spend their first three months shackled in iron chains. And dining options? Maggot-infested meals. Clean drinking water is considered a luxury. And before you say, well, I'll just keep my nose clean, know this. A few years ago, a British man was assaulted by a Thai gang. He lost an eye and suffered other injuries. And guess where he ended up? That's right, doing time in Bangkwang to defend himself. Number 6. Petak Island Prison, Russia Let me introduce you to Fire Island, Russia's own Alcatraz, and a place so harsh it could make the devil himself shudder. Nestled in the middle of Nosavaro Lake, this isolated island prison is like a forgotten realm of despair. There are only 193 prisoners living here. But don't be fooled by that. All of these people have been there for a long time and are the worst. They are on a very short leash and can't even think about getting away. They really do spend 23 hours a day in rooms with two other people. The hour they're not in, they are in a box that is too small for them to move around in. The really bad thing about Fire Island that might make it worse than Black Dolphin is that there is almost no cleaning. That's right, there are no real toilets or baths. Inmates do their business in steel buckets and sleep on beds that are too thin and hard. If you ever wanted to know what life in a winter zoo might be like for the poor animals that live there, Fire Island could give you a pretty bad idea. When you add in the cold water around the island, you have a place that is meant to do more than just keep its prisoners locked up. It's also meant to break their souls completely. So, if hell had a VIP area, Fire Island would be a strong candidate for that shady title. Number 5. Al de Ciudad Barrios El Salvador This is El Salvador's most dangerous jail. It's like the Thunderdome of prisons. You may ask why? Two of the most dangerous gangs in the world live there, MS-13 and Barrio 18. You'd think being a gang member might offer some sort of protection, right? Wrong. From 2004 to 2015, this place was exclusively for gang members, but even that couldn't make life inside any less deadly. In fact, your gang affiliation might be the least of your worries. The prison is bursting at the seams with people, and that makes basic necessities like food or a place to sleep potential grounds for a life or death struggle. And if you're wondering why the authorities don't step in, well, even the prison guards are scared stiff of going inside. No joke, they're so terrified that the gangs are essentially running the whole show. Law and order? Forget about it. Alde Ciudad has a reputation for chaos and violence so extreme that it's become its own terrifying ecosystem. Number 4. Kamiti Maximum Security Prison, Kenya Kamiti Maximum Security Prison, which already stands out for being a home to the worst of the worst. Built in 1954 by British colonizers, this place was designed for tough times, literally modeled to house offenders during a state emergency. Over half a century later, it's gone from bad to worse. Here's the lowdown. Kamiti was built to hold about 1-200 inmates. Fast forward to today, and they've managed to stuff nearly 3,000 prisoners into this hellhole. No surprise, overcrowding has become a breeding ground for all sorts of health nightmares, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, tuberculosis, you name it, they've got it. But let's not forget the layer of corruption and unrest that hangs heavy in the air. This prison has become a convenient dumping ground for the government's undesirables, like political dissidents. Most of the inmates aren't well-educated, which has given rise to a bizarre internal economy. We're talking about a criminal network operating from within the prison walls, scamming innocent Kenyans out of their money. Number 3. Mendoza, Prison, Argentina 
If you're looking for a glimpse into a prison that sounds like it's straight out of a horror movie, let me introduce you to Pavilion 5 in Mendoza Prison, Argentina. This place is so notorious that even the bravest guards won't step foot in there. Can you believe they actually just leave the inmates' meals at predetermined spots near the entrance? While that may sound intriguing in a dark way, don't be fooled. The reality is a living nightmare. First off, overcrowding is through the roof. Imagine cramming 1,600 people into a space designed for just 600. You'd think it couldn't get worse, right? Wrong. Forget about beds. Inmates are forced to sleep on the floor where they're randomly and frequently subjected to horrendous torture. And get this, there are no actual toilets. Picture this, people are reduced to defecating in plastic bags and peeing into bottles. Imagine having to navigate a makeshift sewer of garbage, human waste, and muck running right through the corridors. Sounds beyond awful, doesn't it? Conditions got so dire that there are stories of prisoners sewing their own mouths shut just to protest and demand better living conditions. And it gets even grimmer. Their food, if you can call it that, is basically sludge. If you're not quick, strong, or clever enough to get your shareable, you're out of luck. People have actually died from starvation, and authorities just brush it off, labeling these deaths as mysterious circumstances. Number two, the Diabaka Prison, Turkey. This place was notorious in the 1980s and 90s for being a hub of extreme human rights abuses, particularly against Kurdish men and women. Back then, it was considered the world's worst prison. These days, it's the second worst, but don't be fooled, things haven't gotten any better. In fact, it's possibly even more hellish now. First off, can you believe they lock up children alongside the so-called dregs of society? Yep, kids are in there too. Now, when we talk about torture, we're not just talking about physical abuse, though there's plenty of that. Inmates get beaten, violated, and even forced to eat human waste. But wait, there's more. They even electrocute prisoners' private parts. It's the stuff of nightmares. On the psychological front, things are equally grim. Imagine being forced to salute the prison director's dog or being subjected to fake executions that might or might not actually happen. To make matters worse, inmates are even made to bathe in sewer water. Talk about dehumanizing. The level of desperation is off the charts. Inmates have resorted to dry fasting as a form of protest. Prisoners often just end up dying of starvation. Recently, things escalated to an even darker place. Four prisoners set themselves on fire, and another set his cell ablaze before taking his own life. Number one, Camp 22, North Korea. There isn't just one jail here. There is a huge network of detention camps that can hold up to 200,000 people. The people who are able to get away say that the conditions are like the Holocaust, which is not an exaggeration. Every single day, prisoners are fed this awful mixture of cornmeal and cabbage. In order to keep from going hungry, inmates have started eating rats and bugs. And get this, there are no longer any rats in the camp. You'll understand how amazing that is if you know anything about rats. The guards might not eat you if they weren't so hungry for food. This is an incomprehensibly horrible degree of cruelty. Did the camp give birth to any little girls? Some people use them to give their dogs an edge. They get severely beaten so the guards may feel better about themselves. A nightmare wouldn't compare to this. Do you think you can escape? Everyone in your family is tortured if you even try to leave, even those who didn't know you were going to leave. And getting pregnant? Not allowed at all. Women who are found to be pregnant go through horrible things that I can hardly put into words. What is the worst prison in the world, in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below.